Hello again, cartridge fans. I've got some new inkjet cartridges and toners to show you. These have been added because stores have been asking for them. So, you know the normal drill. Uh, you ask and we try to deliver. Um, if you want to try, if you want to add something or there's something missing from our range, just tell us and let us know and we'll see if we can add it. Um, same with pricing. If there's ever a price issue, just let us know and uh, we'll get onto the factory. They're very keen to help and um, win the business. As you know, over the years, we don't just launch cartridges because they become available at the factory. Like all eco cartridges, um, these have been properly tested for page yield and color accuracy, and they ship with the latest chips. First up, we have the Epson 604 value pack. Uh, product code is EIE 604XLVP. So EIE stands for Eco Inkjet Epson, 604XL is the uh, OEM number. VP for value pack and four, meaning it's four cartridges. If it was a five pack, it'd be VP5. Um, the 604 XL versions print over three and 3.3 times more pages than the standard black uh, original cartridge and 2.7 times more than the standard uh, original colors. So quite a few more pages. It's worth pointing that out, that information out to some customers. Uh, who come in the store and ask for price, I'm amazed how many customers still make the error of comparing standard cartridge prices to XL. So they might have already had a standard price in their head, they come in to ask you for a price, you give them the XL price, then they think you're expensive, not realising it's 3.3 times the pages they're getting out of your cartridge. Um, then we've got the Epson 212 XL VP4. Um, these 212s have been uh, a great seller for us. They've been a great cartridge because partly because Epson's done continual firmware updates on them and we've been able to stay ahead of the curb on the chips. So they've been a very popular cartridge because ours one, our ones work. Um, uh, we didn't do a launch on the value pack when these first came out because we thought the firmware changes might be a potential threat. We're always looking for what are the potential threats to store sales um, and uh, even if they're customer errors or, or market issues. Customers may buy a value pack and they might install just say the black put the, and put the colours in a drawer and then Epson a few months later does a, a firmware update. The customer then puts those cartridges in, complains that the cartridges don't work and then come back and want a refund for the whole value pack even though they've used the black already and when you sold it it was working, they've just put it in their drawer for a while. However, stores have been asking for this product so we've added it to the range. Um, just one thing to point out on those, any of these cartridges where cut, there are firmware updates. So just let the customer know, look, Epson does do these firmware updates. Make sure the updates are turned off um, uh, and let them know what's, what, what Epson's trying to do by limiting their choice. Um, again, the 212 Eps, uh, XLs, the XL version prints 3.3 times more pages than the standard black, um, the original cartridge and 2.7 times the um, page yield on a, on a, than the original colour. Um, our cartridges, uh, our packaging on these cartridges on both of these value packs is designed to fit through a mailbox. So that's why it's like a thin box. Uh, the idea is that you can, it's good for display, but it's also able to be put through a mailbox or a, a company letterbox. Uh, so that, that's what the packaging is specifically designed for to fit through. Um, next up, we've got the Canon 2600 XL value pack. Um, this is obviously a set of cartridges that have been out for a long time. And again, we didn't launch these in a value pack because the Canon, Canon man manual, which no one reads, uh, when they first launched these printers, the Canon manual says at least three times in that manual that you must install a new cartridge within seconds of removing the old one. This indicated to us that these printers were going to be a potential problem uh, problematic for the stores, especially for cartridge stores that do refilling, as many customers tend to bring old cartridges in for refilling. They bring the old cartridge in, hence they're not actually replacing the new one straight away like the manual says. And we thought potentially that would lead to blockages in the printer. Um, and if that happens, the customer would blame your cartridges and return the full value pack, even though it was nothing to do with your cartridge. So we thought, let's not launch those in a value pack. Um, the cartridges, the printers themselves, the printer seems to have less of an issue with that. It hasn't seemed to become a big issue, even though the manual suggests that it needs to be replaced straight away. So again, we've launched the value packs in these because we just don't see the, the same sort of blockage issues that we expected to happen. 
So last up, we've got the CF or the HP CF uh, 360X series toners. The X version again prints more than the standard one. So the X version prints two times more page yield than the standard black original. That's the A version, and it prints uh, 1.5 times the page yield of the original standard colour. So the cyan magenta yellow print 1.5 times as many pages as the as the A version. So the big advantage of Eco over other brands or many other brands, apart from the trusted quality that Eco is known for, is the fact that Eco are not sold all over the internet at crazy prices. Some brands I see in stores when I visit the store, uh, they appear on up to 20 or 20 up to 40 web stores. Um, and sell for a half, a third, a quarter, and in a few cases, a tenth of the price the store is selling for. Um, you know, twenty-three fifty and twenty-four fifty are classic examples. What the same product is sold on online for is that stores are selling. It's you know it can be a tenth the price. Um, products either with the same packaging or the same or virtually the same product code. Um, if you Google the product codes of the brand you're selling, even if it's if it's an own brand, and especially if it's an own brand, um, you know, just Google them and you'll you'll be shocked to see what you what your product is being sold for online at other stores. My big worry is I, I keep seeing stores close around Australia because their businesses have de has declined. There is still a good business to be had, um, and you know it's a big business still, and plenty of people still printing. And there's good business to be won if you're selling the right product and selling it the right way. Um, but if you're trying to sell cartridges at yesterday's prices, when your distributor is selling for, you know, to other customers cheaper than they are selling to you for, and then those retailers are selling the same coded products as you are at way cheaper prices, you know, what do you think your customers are going to do? They don't. They, they won't just be gone. They will tell others that you are selling the same product at way higher prices. They'll be angry and they'll be motivated to tell other people that you've been ripping them off. You haven't been ripping them off, but that's how they will perceive it because they'll see the same product somewhere else way cheaper. So apart from stores selling the same products that the market is selling at a way cheaper price and thinking that's a good long, you know, long-term strategy, you know, it's, it's not a good long-term strategy, um, and they think their customers might not discover it or they don't shop online. I mean, that, that's the, you're dreaming if you think customers aren't going to see an ad sooner or later for a cartridge that's the same as you've, that you're selling at a cheaper price. Um, I see stores trying to sell budget products at premium prices and kidding themselves and their customers about the quality. Uh, you know, I'll stand at a shop and they'll tell me we're really interested in quality and I can see on their shelf, I know the products. I go to the factories, I know where the products sit. They tell me, oh, we, we're really interested in quality and I can see what's on their shelf and they're, they're you know, they're kidding themselves to say that's quality. They, they either know that's not quality or they've said it so many times they're believing it's quality, but they're kidding themselves and their customers if they're thinking they're selling the, the top quality cartridge, if it's a budget one. You know, you get what you pay for. Um, this is another short-term strategy. Look, in my view, there is nothing wrong about selling budget products. You, you, absolutely nothing wrong with selling products as long as you're honest with the customer up front that this is a budget product. There's a market for that and you can make money in it. Um, if the customer wants cheap and you can supply something cheap, understanding that it's not the best, you know, get the sale, retain the customer. If that product fails, you can always upsell them to a quality compatible. You know, retain the business and build credibility. If you sell a cheapo at a top quality price and you sell it as a top quality cartridge, you will lose customers over time. It's inevitable. The cartridges do have a higher failure rate. You will lose customers and, and you will lose credibility. And there's no way back from that. Anyway, enough for today. I just hate seeing stores you know, they're in trouble and still wondering what went, what, what went wrong and, you know, when the answer's right there. Um, you can sell budget, you can sell quality, you can sell both of them. If you have the right strategy, you will do well. Um, there's no need for stores to decline and be losing sales. Anyway, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye. Green, the colour of truth.